Y'all done burnt my chicken. So what had happened was I had a chicken, not a breast, but like a tenderloin. Because it's just me and this is my first time making it with chicken. Whatever. I just wanted to start small. All of that to say, <laughs> I got cocky as I was cooking. Like, oh yeah, I got this. And so I put my chicken in the oven. And then I called my father. And we got to talking. And the next thing I know, I'm like, oh shit. I didn't say oh shit while I was on the phone with them. But point is, I burnt my chicken. Um, so hopefully this is going to taste okay. I'm just trying to get all my seasons right. Because you know, it's important. It's important. I feel like those people on the Food Network, I feel like I said that really country, probably because I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> this is good. Yay. You did it. This is really good. As long as I don't burn the chicken next time, we, we cook it with gas. Isn't that the expression? Cause it's kind of hard to put my fork in the chicken because the skin is so tough the inside is good the outside is a little tough i had my door cracked so as hopefully not to set the um smoke alarm off and look at that myself in the mirror and I am concerned I don't know if y'all can see now I will preface this by saying I've been drinking I've been drinking I've been drinking and when I drank my cheeks get red <laughs> usually you can tell by how drunk I am by how red my cheeks get but I'm not drunk so my point is can y'all see all oh, I'm red all like this is normal right here but do you see all of this red that ma'ams and sirs mostly ma'ams is not normal oh my god it looks worse there oh my god oh no let me tell you what i did all right so I did my skincare routine as normal. I know my hair looks crazy. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about my um, skin. So I did my skincare routine as normal and I used this Summer Fridays mask that I've heard so much about and I'll be a motherfucker if my skin don't look like, I know you see, you have to see it. I feel like it looks worse in person it's on my nose. That's my growl. That's when you know danger lies ahead if I growl at you like an animal. <laughs> oh no, baby. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see how my skin looks in the morning because this is not it, sis. This ain't it at all. I'm, I'm annoyed and I will say this I'm glad that I only bought the $25 version so I'm gonna give it another go tomorrow to see if it does it again and well first I'm gonna see how my skin looks tomorrow 
and then we'll proceed accordingly because this may be a wish I never bought it purchase and I keep touching my mouth because I um I split my lip I don't know if you can see that <sighs> Um, I just wanted to show y'all what I was drinking. It's just my same old apple martini in a fancy glass that I saw my friend Muriel show on her Instagram and I was like, ooh, fancy. And so I bought them. It came, it comes in a pack of four and I broke one. Surprise. Anyway, it's 12.32. This is for those of you guys who watch The Real Housewives of Potomac. I can't with my hair right now. <laughs> for those of y'all who watch The Real Housewives of Potomac. This episode was so annoying. I, if you don't watch Potomac and you just want to hear me rant, then feel free. I was the person who I never really had a favorite. I wanted my favorite to be Giselle, but then I realized that she's just a mean girl. So she couldn't be my favorite. I never really had any, okay, let me put you like this. I never really had any strong opinions about anybody. I never was like, oh yeah, I like her or I don't like her. But I am so sick of Candace and this cry me a river bullshit that she does you stay talking shit and your ass got popped because that's what happens when you talk shit that you can't back up this bitch spent the entire fucking reunion talking little side shit about monique when wasn't nobody talking to her that's the kind of shit that got your ass beat period and it was just i'm like if <laughs> Just obviously it was edited, but just from what I saw, if I was Monique, I'm the type of person, I don't know, like, I don't know if can't if Monique didn't hear her or if she was just being the bigger person because they did have to add uh, subtitles because she was speaking low. But that's the other thing too, like, say it with your chest. If you bought that life, say it with your chest. You over there mumbling shit, you know, that, that was, I was like, ugh. And I do. And so, I, again, I don't know if Monique didn't hear her or what. But I'm like, you, you steady talking shit. Okay, the hair, girl, the hair. And the, and the tank top, everything's a mess. Let's bring it back. This might make it better. But yeah, it was just annoying to just hear her talking all that cash money shit under her breath while Monique was being addressed. And as I said, I don't know if Monique just couldn't hear her or if she was rising above it. But I would have, knowing me and my mouth, I'm not slick like Candace, but I'm slick when, how can I describe it? Like, <laughs> if I may quote Megan Thee Stallion, bitch, do I look like I fight? I don't, but I'm not just going to sit there and let you talk crazy on the other side of the room. So I'd have been, I, knowing me, if it were me, I'd have been like, did you say something? Are you, do you have something? You know what I mean? Like I would have said something because I'm not just gonna let you sit over there mumbling shit but you traumatized and you want to cry every 25 seconds about this fight like I can't feel sorry for you when you are continuing to exude behavior that got your ass beat in the first place either you a victim or you a, a fighter which one are you because you're 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 crying but yet you talking shit the whole reunion which one is it ma'am like I, I want her gone and I know the chances of Monique being gone before her before her are higher but I just I don't like her I don't like her at all and then people keep saying how old they gonna fire Monique and I'm like well there are other housewives franchise where the women are a little less melanated where they have also engaged in some questionable behavior some violent behavior. I remember Lisa Renna like breaking a glass. I don't know what the circumstances were. I don't really watch Beverly Hills, although I did watch it when they brought Garcelle back, obviously, but or not brought her back, but brought her on. But my point is, less melanated characters have done old girl flipping over that table, and they still got to keep their jobs. So don't try to fucking make no example out of Monique after you've had seasons of fuckery displayed so Monique's ass better be back and they better find some people for her to record with because I could see less of Candace I could see less of Giselle I could see less of Robin 
I, de I definitely don't want Wendy back. Wendy got on my fucking nerves. And ugh, I didn't like her either. So, yeah. So, right now, I'm only liking Candy. Ashley, she... <laughs> Ashley has no loyalty. <laughs> it's like, whose friend are you? You you always... Well, I heard. And someone so said, girl, are you cool with this person or not? Because why are you going back telling shit? Like... I don't know. Anyway, that's my take on The Real Housewives of Potomac. I think it'll be interesting to see when the husbands come. Although Juan ain't there. The uh, Darby dude ain't there. Jamal ain't there because Jamal ain't never there. So it'll be interesting to see. But I guess mainly what we're interested in seeing is Monique's husband and, and old girl's husband. And you know, obviously I don't know this woman personally. But it's just like I sometimes get annoyed when I see women who behave this way and who are portrayed this way and got whole husbands. I'm like, oh, so I need to go out and act a motherfucking fool and then I too can get a husband? Do I even want a husband? That's a whole nother issue. But it ain't a point. This bitch got a whole husband out here acting a damn fool on fucking Bravo. I can't. Where? I'm, if you see me looking around, I'm looking for my fucking, the thing that holds the AirPods. See, I messed up when I bought them because I bought I bought a blue case you already know blue is everything however it's not everything when you can't fucking find it because it blends in with everything else so I should have gotten a brighter color iPad iPad man these are airpods I should have gotten a different color case so that it would stand out and wouldn't get lost and everything so I do think I'm gonna buy a different color one of these maybe yellow or orange or just something bright so all right that was my rant I think tomorrow's vlog might be kind of long if I don't edit if I don't edit this at all and all the clips from earlier today and then tomorrow too I'll still try to keep it at the 20 25 minute mark morning have you ever had a plan and then things don't go according to plan and then it just kind of messes up the plan that you had in your head completely up? So here was my plan. I was going to go to the laundromat around 11 and I had some groceries scheduled to pick up at 2. Well, I didn't wake up till 1045, <laughs> which was fine. Um but I woke up to several messages from my Instacart shopper <laughs> that I didn't expect to have that early because I scheduled to pick my groceries up at two o'clock and they were shopping my cart at 8 a.m. So yeah, I wasn't, I was no, I wasn't ready. So all of that to say my groceries are already ready. So I was like, crap, this whole plan that I had to do the things is kind of messed up which I mean it's it's really not that deep I'm just saying I had a plan in my head and now my plan is ruined I'm being dramatic so I'm at the laundromat now um trying not to let people steal my joy as soon as I walk in I have two uh of these things the things that hold the comforters I have two of those so my hands are full is what I'm trying to say and there's a girl walking out as I'm walking in and what does she do she just lets the door shut. I'm like, bitch, I know you see me with my hands full, but it's fine, whatever. So that happens. I've never been in this laundromat before, so I'm not familiar with the layout. So I'm looking around, trying to figure out what's what. And I am looking for the machine that most laundromats have where you put your money in and they give you quarters. I don't see one. I see there's a lady in there. I'm thinking she's washing her clothes. Next thing I know, I see her up at the front counter. I'm like, oh, this stuff will work here. I know you saw me looking around like, come on now. A simple, could I help you with something? Are you, do you need help? Like what, Th I'm doing this. That doesn't imply that I'm lost or looking for something. Okay, anyway, so she goes to the front counter and I'm like, hello, I'm just trying to get um, $20 and quarters. And she was like, are you trying to get the whole 20? I said, yes, I think. Oh, well, there's a coin machine right there. Oh, you mean the thing I walked by and didn't see because I was, I'm, again, I'm not familiar. So I was just annoyed at the lack of courtesy with the door and then the lack of observation of a customer 
but I'm not gonna let it's just one of those things my sister and I were discussing this the other day when it's like you don't leave the house a lot and then when you do leave the house you encounter I was gonna say the worst people but I'm being dramatic so you encounter the worst people and then it's like this is why I don't leave the house <laughs> so anyway um I since I was so thrown off by oh crap my groceries are already ready you know, I don't want to have them wait too long, although I'm sure it's not that deep, but you know, I want to kind of try to get my groceries as quickly as possible. So I left my downy, um, I don't know what you call those things, but it's like the little things that you put in the washer before you wash it. It's supposed to keep the smell. I left those at home. I left my book at home. The goal was to read while my clothes were washing for the next 20 some odd minutes. Well, the books at home, as are my downy scentable thingies. So I was like, well, I guess it's meant for me to be on my phone. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So I meant to tell y'all, my skin doesn't look like it's not as red as it was last night. I don't know what that was, but I was concerned. That's not what I came to talk to you about. I just realized that you can see my full face and yeah, it's not as red as it was yesterday. Um, I don't know if this, if this is ghetto or not, but if I ever get married, I want my wedding cake to be the yellow pound cake that they serve at Starbucks. I'm not sorry. <laughs> 